Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. So today we're going to be doing a tier list of Disney Channel original shows. I'm really excited about doing this because I feel like everyone had a phase where all they watched was Disney Channel and of course I had one of those. We're not even going to have a really long intro. We're going to go ahead and jump right into it because I already know you guys are dying, fiending for my opinion because mine is the only one that matters at this point. So if you're not subscribed, go ahead and hit that button real quick. Like you already know, it's free as hell. I just hit 2,900 and I appreciate every single one of y'all. My next big boy goal is 5,000. So if you guys can help me out, that'll be great. Also, my hands... You can't really tell, but like they're like brown is not shit. <laughs> For some odd reason, I got this lotion that I I just wanted to use it to like, you know, moisturize my hands whenever I wash my hands because whenever I wash my hands, the water makes my hands dry. But it was like this tanning lotion almost. So like it made my hand, whatever. Anyway, <laughs> no one cares. Let's go ahead and get into it. All right, y'all. So here is our tier list. We have our different categories. We have IDK, who you are, sorry. We have barely remember, Merry Christmas, partially slayed, and slayed the house boots down Houston, I'm deceased. So this bottom tier is already filled up because I didn't want to waste y'all's time. There was a lot of shows on here that I've never seen, but there's a couple that I want to point out. Austin Alley. I get the whole like memification of, I think her name is Rainy Rodriguez. I get it. I've seen clips from the show, but I've never seen a full episode. Casey Undercover. I know Zendaya was in it, but also never seen a full episode. Jesse. I know the theme song. I literally just sung it in my last video but never seen a full episode. Hey, Jesse. I feel like I was already grown out of the Disney Channel phase by the time these shows came out. I'm 27 years old. I was born in 1994. So I feel like my era was like 01 to like 2008, 2009, because I started high school in 2009 and I'm pretty sure I wasn't watching Disney Channel then. So let's go ahead and get started with the shows that I've seen. First one is Emperor's New Groove. From what I can remember, I really enjoyed the movie. This was one of the rare cases where the movie was before the TV show. The TV show I liked too, but I can barely remember it. So I'm not saying this is a bad show. I'm just gonna put it in the barely remember because I barely remember it. All right, next we have Sunny with a Chance and I really enjoyed Sunny with a Chance. I really liked Demi. I was in like my Demi phase where I listened to nothing but their music. Like, don't forget, bop. La La Land, bop. Get Back, bop. So Sunny with a Chance, we're gonna put it in Partially Slate. I really liked Sunny with a Chance. Sweet Life of Zack and Cody, um, Slate the House Boots Down. I'm deceased. I really remember having a crush on Cole Sprouse. Is that the one? Yes, Cole. Cole was, Cole was, he had my heart. That was a white boy who had my heart. I really liked Cole. London is an iconic character. The Prindle. I still call the Prindle the Prindle. I don't even know if that's the real name, but that little gear shift in my car, it's not a gear shift, it's the Prindle. Maddie was iconic as well. We had Mr. Mosby, Esteban, Carrie. Just great show. Floss, the, the Floss Kid. If I had love. We love Zach and Cody. Next we have Dave the Barbarian. Um, I'm gonna put it in Barely Remember because I remember the theme song. Ba -ba -barbarian. Ba -ba -barbarian. And I'm pretty sure it wasn't on Disney Channel for that long. It probably ran for like a couple episodes. So I don't think most people remember that show, but I remember it fondly, just the theme song. Raven's Home, I'm gonna put it in Partially Slayed. This is one of the reboots that was done right. I really enjoyed Raven's Home. Brandon, I haven't watched it in a while, but I watched maybe like the first two seasons and I remember really enjoying it. I liked how the focus wasn't fully on the kids because they knew that the adults were coming to see Raven and Chelsea and they focused on them a lot too. And it was still funny to me. I really enjoyed it. I liked Raven's Home. Sweet Life on Deck. I'm gonna put it in Merry Christmas. I didn't really like Sweet Life on Deck as much as Sweet Life is Zack and Cody, but I didn't hate it. I also didn't really watch a lot of episodes because it, I think it came out towards the end of my Disney phase. Like I was kind of old. So I don't remember watching a lot of the episodes, but I remember not really enjoying it as much, but it wasn't as bad. Wizards of Waverly Place. This may be an unpopular opinion. I'm gonna put in Merry Christmas. <gasps> I mean, it's not a bad show, but it's not up there with Sunny with a Chance. It's not up there with Raven Song. It's definitely not up there with Sweet Life of Zack and Cody. I don't know. I just wasn't really, I've never really been into the fantastical, supernatural type of thing. Like even today, those aren't really my type of shows or movies. 
So them being wizards wasn't really much of a like big thing for me. Like I didn't really care. But I enjoyed Selena Gomez. I enjoyed David, whatever his last name is. I always thought he was kind of cute. JT got J. Jake T. Austin. I thought he was a little adorable too. Please let us be the same age because I don't. I'm pretty sure we're the same age. Yes, we we're literally two months apart. So yeah, I thought he was cute. I'm watching, um, I'm actually watching The Fosters right now for the first time, never seen it. And he was in like the first two seasons. He, he grew up to be kind of fine, like not even gonna lie. So <laughs> I've just literally talked about how fine everybody is, but as a show, wasn't the biggest fan. Good Luck Charlie. I remember liking Good Luck Charlie. We'll put it in Partially Slayed. I always liked the little end when she's all like, Good luck, Charlie, because it's like, oh, that's the name of the show. But yeah, just wholesome white fun. Next we have American Dragon. <laughs> okay, we're gonna put in Barely Remember. A lot of these shows in the Barely Remember section, I remember the theme song, but I really don't remember the show. Jesus Christ, they're having fucking need for speed outside. Shake it up. Mm, 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 mm. Shake it up. I'm pretty sure Selena Gomez on the theme song. I'm gonna put it in Partially Slayed. You know what, actually I'm gonna put it in Merry Christmas because I remember liking it, but not really just like clicking with it. The only thing I really enjoyed about Shake It Up was, what's his name? The dude who played Zendaya's brother, I had the biggest crush on him. This is back when I was in my light skin phase. Like for some reason, all I liked is light skin men. And he had the dimples. He was in Camp Rock too. Y'all know who I'm talking about. He was fine. He was in Insecure too. If y'all watch Insecure, he played like one of the rappers on there. Was it like season two or three? Don't remember. But yeah, I remember having a big crush on him and watching it for him. But other than that, pretty okay show. Family, family. Crown Family. Slate the house boots down. Put it, nope, right there, yes. Crown Family, bop. Unapologetically black, just funny, just entertaining. The theme song is a bop. The Crown Family movie. What? Zoe, Sticky, Dijanae, La Cienega Boulevardis. <laughs> the fact that her name is literally a street. <laughs> I love me some Proud Family. I haven't watched the new one yet on Disney Plus, but I'm going to soon. Yes, Proud Family is just an iconic black cartoon. I just love it. Why is Andy Mac here? Okay, so I know Andy Mac. I'm putting in IDK Who You Are. I know Andy Mac because it's kind of like an iconic show because one of the characters came out as gay or whatever. And it's like kind of dramatic. I've seen clips from it, but I've never seen a full episode. That's why I'm gonna put it in IDK Who You Are. But I know the show, I know the significance and I, I like it. And I like the tone of the show that it's like kind of like a serious drama. Cause I think like she, her mom was like her sister. That sounds weird, but like she was told that her mom was her sister because her sister got pregnant with her when she was like really young, but then she finds out that her sister is actually her mom. It sounds crazy, but I think it's a very like intense story for Disney Channel and I like it, so yes. Brandy and Mr. Whiskers, we're gonna put it in Barely Remember. I remember the theme song. I remember this coming on really late at night. You had to be up at like 2 a.m. to see both Brandy and Mr. Whiskers and like Day the Barbarian. Bug Juice. I'm gonna put Bug Juice in Partially Slayed and I'm pretty sure this is like the logo for the newer version, but I'm not considering this newer version they put out. I'm talking about the old school Bug Juice. I used to really love it because I was obsessed with the real world when I was younger. I wanted to be on the real world so bad and I thought Bug Juice is like the real world for like children and I wanted to be on it so bad. I just love like a reality show. Reality show is like one of my favorite types of TV and it was like a kid's reality show. I loved it. The Replacements. Once again, putting it in Barely Remember. I remember the theme song. I think they were like orphans or something, but also like superhero. I don't really remember, but I remember the theme song. <laughs> Jonas, we're gonna put it in Mer Merry Christmas. No, we're gonna put it in Barely Remember. I do remember the show and I didn't like it. I should probably have a category for shows that I know but don't like, because Merry Christmas isn't don't like, it's just like average. Let's add another category. Um, let's make it orange. Is there already an orange category? There is. Okay. We'll change the fucking colors. Now, what color was it before? <laughs> was it this color? <laughs> Shit. Let's add a new how do you add a category? Y'all, I'm so dumb. Wait, what did I just do? Wait. 
That goes down. This goes down. Okay. <laughs> Y'all, I'm fucking it up. I'm fucking it up. Okay, add row below. And then we're going to put girl by. And then we're going to put it in pink. We're going to put Jonas Brothers in girl by because I didn't really care for the show. I thought it was stupid. This was back when, was it Joe Jonas was like the heartthrob? I'm not one of you switching ass hoes because I always thought Nick Jonas was fine. Even back then, we all thought Joe was fine. And then when Nick had his glow up, everybody was like, oh, Nick Jonas, Nick Jonas. But y'all bitches wasn't there. Y'all hoes wasn't there when I was the only one that had his back. Anyway, Jonas kind of sucked. Even Stevens, iconic show. Let's put it up at the top. Iconic show. We love even Stevens in this household. Life with Derek. We're going to put Life with Derek in the Merry Christmas category. I feel like this show has gotten a lot of eyes on it over the past couple years because of the storyline. I think her name was Casey. Casey's parent married Derek's parents, so they were like step siblings, but they also kind of had this like romantic tension, even though they were step siblings. Kind of weird, but um, I remember liking the show. I thought it was okay. Kim Possible. Call me be met if you want to reach me. Probably Christina Milian's biggest bop. Oh no, it's not in Girl By. I'm sorry, I'm not paying attention. It's in Slate the House Boots Down. I mean, I really don't feel like I need to explain any further. The movies, also very good. Lilo and Stitch, I love Lilo and Stitch. I'm pretty sure this was another show where the uh, movie came before the TV show. Y'all remember that game on the Disney Channel website where you had to make the sandwiches? Oh, Disney Channel had those best games. You remember the Hannah Fontana game where you played the keyboard like a guitar? I used to literally hold the keyboard like a guitar. It was like Guitar Hero. Anyway, the buzz on Maggie, I vividly, or not vividly, vaguely remember the show. We're gonna put it in barely remember, but I do know that it exists. I just don't remember what it's called what it's about. Phineas and Ferb, another one of those. I'm gonna put it in Partially Slayed. Partially Slayed sounds like a bad category, but it's a really good show. It's just not Slayed the House Boots Down. I like Phineas and Ferb. Kind of jealous that their summer lasted so long, but I mean, what can you do? Lizzie McGuire. Also gonna put this in Partially Slayed just because I enjoyed the movie a lot more than the TV show. I love the Lizzie McGuire movie. I will watch it every day until I die. Not every day because I don't have time, but um, if I could, I would because this is what dreams are made of. I got somewhere I belong. I got somebody to love. Same for me, Palo. <laughs> okay, um, yeah. <laughs> Lizzie McGuire is cool. We love Lizzie. So random, girl, bye. Once Demi left, curtains. No one watched So Random. Did you watch So Random? I didn't. It would be so random that you watched So Random. Hannah Montana. I mean, we gotta put it in Slate the House Boots Down. I mean, Hannah Montana was a was a movement. Probably Disney Channel's biggest show to me behind another show that we haven't got to, which I really hope is in this list because I actually haven't looked. But we love Hannah Montana. We love taking off the wig to reveal our true identity. Everything about that show is just really good. The music, probably the best music to come from the show in a really long time. Like Miley really made a career being Hannah Montana and then being Miley. Like it's kind of iconic if you ask me. Star Wars Resistance. Girl, we don't know who you are. Feel of the Future, we're gonna put it in Partially Slayed. I like Feel of the Future. I feel like it's an underrated show. I watched it mainly because I had the biggest crush on Phil. What's his name? Ricky Ullman? I thought he was so cute. In that movie he did, uh, what's it called? Pitch Perfect? No, it's not called fucking Pitch Perfect. What's that movie called when he made the hologram and then like he started falling for it? It's not called Pitch Perfect. Perfect Pitch? Ricky Ullman. I'm gonna be really mad when I look this up. He's 36. Oh, well, he's still kind of fine. Oh, Ricky. See, look at him. He was so adorable. What's the name of that movie when he was... My forehead is all in the camera. Mm, Pixel Perfect, that was called, not Pitch Perfect. Pixel Perfect, I love this movie. I used to sing those songs like I was actually the fucking hologram. But anyway, Feel of the Future, I watched it because of Ricky's cute self and I thought the premise was interesting. Shorty Mix Short Shorts, um, we're gonna put in Merry Christmas. I mean, it barely counts as a show. I don't think a lot of people remember Shorty Mix Short Shorts, but I thought it was very interesting. They would do like interviews with like, Disney stars, and they would do like these really short clips. I don't, I could really put this in barely remember, but I do remember it. I just, I'm just not really good at explaining things because I am not smart, so. That's a Raven.
we are gonna put it in Slate the House booth. We're gonna put it in the very first spot because I am gonna say right here, right now, that's so Raven is the best Disney Channel original show to ever come out. And I put that on my mama. I put that on everything. And if you want to fight me about it, turn your location on. You can come see me. I will throw hands over this opinion. Actually, I'm not even going to call it an opinion. I'm going to call it a fact because what other show is touching it? You tell me. When Disney Plus first came out, that was the first thing I watched. And guess what? Disney Plus came out, what, two years ago? I'm 27, I was 25 years old. And I watched that so Raven from front to back and I laughed out loud all by myself because the show is still funny to this day. Like literally, I will go to war. I will start World War Three over this show and I'm not playing. I'm not playing. If anybody come down in my comments trying to tell me, oh, Death Row Raven wasn't that good, I might just say something rude. I might because how dare you? How dare you disrespect Raven Simone, Annalise Vanderpool, Orlando Brown, even though he done went crazy, Ronald Sheridan, whatever the mom's name was, Kyle Massey, Lake Okeechobee. All that to say, that's a Raven best show ever. Best show ever? Hmm. Best show ever. I'll say it. I'll say it. Corey in the house. I mean, Corey couldn't do what his sister did, but it was still pretty good. I'm going to put it in Merry Christmas, though, because, I mean, Raven wasn't there, so... Not much to say. All right, and that is my tier list. It's kind of hard to see because it's so much, but we have our top tier shows here. And I mean, I'm proud. That's so Raven, Sweet Life of Zack and Cody, Proud Family, Even Stevens, Kim Possible, Lilo and Stitch, and Hannah Montana. I'm proud. That is a flawless list. No Beyonce. All right, y'all. So that is going to be the end of today's video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure you guys like, comment, subscribe, all that great stuff. And I will see you guys next time with a brand new video. Oh my gosh, something is on me. I'll see you guys next time with a brand new video. Bye.